So guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about conversion. Uh, it says, in linguistics, conversion, also called zero derivation or null derivation. So just stop and think about that for a second. Zero, well, nothing, null derivation. O sea, no le haces nada a la palabra. O sea, la palabra queda igual, pero cambia en un sentido. Um, so we don't add anything, we don't take anything away, okay? Is a kind of word formation uh, involving the creation of a word of a new word class from an existing word of a different word class. Uh, so, for example, noun to verb, verb to noun, adjective to ad, adjective to whatever it might be, to preposition even, um, without any change in form. O sea, no le pones, no le sumas, no le quitas, nada. O sea, no le cambias, es exactamente la misma forma, misma pronunciación, mismo todo. Which is to say, derivation only, using only zero, nada. So, if you think about green, the color, and green in golf, um, no, if if you've ever played golf, you know that the green is um, like where the grass is a lot finer. Um, you can take out a putter, it's called like the, the smallest um, and lightest of the golf clubs, and you can, uh, you can putt on the green, okay? Now, obviously grass is green, right? So that's probably where it comes from. Um, let's have a look at a case where we've got verbification. So, for example, Google. Um, when Google first started, it was a noun only. Now people say, oh, I need to Google it. Um, I Googled it. Um, I am Googling it right now. I haven't Googled it yet. Mm. Party um, used to be a noun only, but let's party. Um, or I partied all night. Uh -huh. I'm partying at the moment. I'll call you later. All right. Email, I emailed it to you already. Um, I haven't uh, emailed it yet um, or something like that. Then we've got some uh, nouns that come from things that were originally verbs. For example, visit. I will visit you mm, as a verb, um, but I received a visit from the doctor or whatever. Call. So originally call was only a verb and then, you know, technology happened and then um, I made a call. Okay. Um, obviously, these examples, because they're so familiar to, to us now, might not seem kind of so strange, but I'm pretty sure um, when these examples kind of first came into existence people would have resisted these as kind of like, oh that's linguistic change that's bad that's wrong blah blah um another example um could be down for example so down is a preposition but you can also down a drink um for example you know if you're drinking with your mates or something you can say down it down it down it down it meaning like fondo 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 okay so that's an example of a preposition becoming a verb you can also use prepositions um you know as as nouns for example life has ups and downs mm? or you can add a little bit of uh, morphology to it and uppers and downers so uppers refers to drugs that kind of make you uh, more hyperactive and downers are drugs that kind of make you feel like more relaxed and stuff like that okay so i hope this information helps guys